Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are in Tucson, Arizona. We are at Cactus RV. We're going to look at a toy hauler we've never seen before, or, or a line for that matter. This is the Genesis Supreme. We're looking at the 40CRXL. Come on. As we approach here, if you look up, there's an awning that covers, oh, probably two thirds of the side of the, uh, the RV, which is real nice, okay? Up here in the very front, this is not propane, this is where your battery goes, all right? Or actually, you can put a couple batteries in there. Then you move over to your, uh, your full pass-through storage, generous height in here, which is awesome, okay? Um, by the way, this is a six-point auto level system. All right, I believe this is locked. Oh, this is not locked. And a nice little metal storage container down here for some extra things, okay? All right, over here, this is where your, your central vac clean out is, right? It's got central vac, this is awesome, okay? Step above step, three axles. All right, this is where you dispense the fuel for all the toys. And again, you have a nice uh, uh, reading on the tank so you can see how much fuel you're carrying for all those toys. When we get to the back, again, remember this is a toy hauler. Um, it has all the things that you need uh, when the, the ramp is down in its, uh, um, what I want to call it, its sort of patio uh, configuration. But because we're, there's a pole, we, we just can't put it down for you. As we move over, I like that they have a ladder already attached. A lot of times with toy haulers, it's hard to have a ladder because normally ladders would be mounted on the back. So here, as you can see, the ladder is on the side and it, it does go up and down. So when you're driving down the road, it's not sticking out. This is where you actually put the fuel. You have two tanks, rack and pinion slides. So from this point up, there's a lot of utilities, right? You have your sewer connection right here, all right? Your fresh water connections right here. There's an outdoor shower right here. Satellite feed and a few different things here. Your black tank flush is right there. Interestingly enough, I don't know, I want y'all's opinion, okay? What do you think that is? I don't know if the camera, get, get, get real close. Can you all see in there? It doesn't go all the way through. It, it's pretty short. At first I thought that might be for a stinky slinky, but you could only put a, a, a couple foot in there because it, 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 it's not, I'm touching the end of it. So it's no longer than my arm, <laughs> okay? So uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think that is supposed to be for. All right, all right as you can see the other side of the pass-through storage, okay? Up here, your hydraulic uh, tank for your uh, hydraulic level system and the controller for the auto level system. I like the fact that it's there so you can control it while you're sort of with the truck. You can see it all, which is great, okay? Lisa, let's take a look at the numbers. All right, so this has a gross vehicle weight of 17,500 pounds, right, and a cargo carrying capacity of 3,690 pounds, all right? Let's move up to the front. Got a Kurt Rotoflex pin box on here, okay? You got an Onan 5500 uh, generator already installed. And as you can see, your propane tanks are up here in the front. I don't know. And now I'm a tall person, right? Back up, Lisa. You can see how I'm, I'm hunched over, all right? How do you feel about trying to take those 30 pounders out of there, kind of hunched over like I am, right? They're not exactly light. Um, so I don't know. Do you like your tanks here underneath or would you rather have them on the side? Leave a comment below. Let's go inside. Now look at how long this sucker is, Lisa. This is long. This is huge. I'll be honest, this might be one of the largest toy haulers we've been in. Uh, for those who have followed the channel, we, we don't see a lot of toy haulers or review a lot of toy haulers, uh, but this one caught our eye. You know why it caught our eye? It's a 2024. It's April, and this is a 2024. I don't know, it's crazy. All right, so let's start all the way in the back, okay? Again, if you look down there, you can see there's your your, your fencing and rails and three season door. Sorry, those are your rails. It is not a three season door. As you can see, there's a fold down up top. Okay, see that fold down? It's a roll down. Your bed's on a rail, so in toy mode, this would be all the way up to the ceiling, but for sleep mode, it's all the way down. As you can see, there are two benches that also convert to be a bed. 
Um, if we weren't sleeping and this was up, um, this is sort of another hanging out area, dining area, whatever you want to call it. If you're traveling with a bunch of kids, maybe, you know, the kids hang back here or whatever. Now, this next little segment is sort of the living room, okay? Right here, you got two recliners. Now, all these things move, all right? These aren't bolted down, so you can move them around when in toy hauler configuration, okay? But you do have a nice little end table, if you will, okay? Directly across from us is your big TV. Maybe a uh, 50. I'm going with 50. 40, 43, 43 or 50. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a 43. It's a decent okay. size. Yeah, it's a decent size. Yeah. Okay. There's some cabinets around there. Okay. So, oh, nice, nice cabinetry, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels solid. Right? Nice, nice. little cabinetry. Plus okay. above. And storage above, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. Absolutely. So then when you move into this next little segment, you've got a, a, a dinette, a traditional dinette, and then another sofa sleeper. You could sleep like 600 people in here. <laughs> You really could. <laughs> the whole football team comes with you, right? <laughs> you really right? could. And this then, is probably the most sleep area I've ever seen. <laughs> I agree, right? So you got storage above. Okay. And again, traditional dinette. Now, mind you, all this stuff moves. All right. Well, we're talking about length. When we first came in here, Lisa was standing right here. And as you can see, there's a tie down in the floor. All right. And so when you're in toy configuration, you literally can put toys in this RV from where I'm standing all the way to the back of the RV, okay? The carpet rolls up, all the furniture moves, so you could take a lot of toys in this. You really could. The only thing that dictates the amount of toys is the, the, the weight, Yeah. right? So then there's the kitchen. We got a nice sort of L-shaped kitchen. Yeah, this is kind of a cute little setup. Um, so we've got um, solid surface countertops again. Um, we do have, ooh. ooh 70-30 stainless. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, with a tall faucet. Um, moving back over here, we do have our three burner stove. This nice. one does have a small oven. Looks like there's storage underneath, nice storage yeah, underneath, nice. as well as on the side. Plus we have, storage underneath the sink. Now, over here we have our microwave. Nice residential microwave. Yeah, and more storage. Excellent. Now there's some under um, the counter uh, lighting, nice lighting as well, yeah. so that's awesome. You don't see that very often. No. I'm not sure if we, we I, I believe it not, I completely missed this. There's another TV right there, Lisa. I see that. <laughs> I didn't see that before. No, so I didn't notice that either. If they're all connected, which I'm sure they could, if you're watching something on the TV all the way back here, and there's somebody in the living room watching in these two recliners. Then you can shout, hey, bring me a cold one. <laughs> right? <laughs> I almost think I'd need a, a phone to call you. Yeah. Oh, my almost. Lord. Almost. Right? Almost. So nice side by side. This is a, a, a propane or electric. It is. Side by side Dometic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Let's just take a look at the freezer too while we're here. Sure. Excellent. All right, side by side. There you go. And I, I just, I like having the little, the little cubbies yeah. we, with... We didn't really profile this. There's sort of storage and cubbies that run this entire side, which is really quite neat. All right, and so two let's ceiling go. fans, too. Two ceiling fans? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I'm, yeah, I missed those. Yeah. I'm focused so much on, on the down. The length, yeah. Yep, a couple ceiling fans. Awesome. Well, we covered the back pretty good. Let's go look at the front. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tom and Toilet Test. If you're joining us for the very first time, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around the RV. As you can see from where I'm sitting, at my height, there is plenty of sp uh, space here, okay? It's very, very comfortable. So if you're my height or even taller, you'd be very comfortable in here. And by the way, this is a porcelain foot flush toilet, okay? Over here to sort of angle to my left is your vanity. All right, nice. Uh, Stainless sink, cool faucet, Lisa. I like the faucet. Yeah. Generous countertop space. There is some storage underneath, both top and bottom. I love that. You don't uh, see a lot of shelves um, in the bathrooms, which is great. From the uh, medicine chest, I can see from a uh, bridge of my nose down. And when I open it, as you can see, there's plenty of storage in there for all your medicines and stuff. Over here, there's a small cabinet, um, so you couldn't put a lot of linens in this uh, bathroom. I mean, with all those toys and all the people you're carrying, you're going to need an awful lot of towels. So uh, we're going to have to figure out where to store them. Well, maybe that's why there's that extra shelf underneath the sink. <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right, so climbing that shower, which, by the way, I don't know if you're catching this, guys, but 
even where I'm standing here. I mean, I'm at six foot four. I'm, I'm almost touching the ceiling. So uh, it's a little bit tight up here. In the shower, however, there's a bubble. All right, again, I know it's a shower head. Uh, a, uh, um, <laughs> Duh! I know it's a skylight, but I call it a bubble. Um, and there's, oh geez. Seven inches above my head, uh, six to seven inches. So you could be 5'10", or sorry, 6'10", and fit pretty comfortable in here, 6'11". Just have to duck to get there. You just have to duck everywhere else, but you would be fine in the shower, okay? Um, as you can see, this is a corner shower, right? There's a kind of a little bench there for you to, to sit if you want to sit. There's a little shelf here, okay? Um, the shower heads uh, is, is, you know, pretty decent. It can go up a little bit higher, okay? So it's in a good position for the tall people, all right? So overall, not bad. So there are two entrances into the master. There's one directly from this bathroom. So for those in the master, you can just uh, at nighttime enter here, but there's also one in the hallway that Lisa's in. So she'll go in from there. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Welcome to the boudoir. <laughs> All right. So this is, again, this is either, this has got to be an RV king. This I think is is wider than a queen, Lisa. I agree. And, and again, we apologize for not having our uh, our tape measure with us, so um, we'll look it up and, and put it uh, and it's probably just right there. RV King, I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, there's plenty of length, and honestly, there's plenty of width. Okay, all right. So let's look for some storage underneath, Lisa. All right. All right. Oh yeah, look at that, Lisa. Nice. Full storage. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a step there, too, and it goes way on back, so I'm not sure if the camera's... Yeah, I think the camera picks that up. Not sure up. how you'd get to the stuff that's back there, but... <laughs> well, there's storage. You know, you can put, like, those uh, uh, plastic Totes. shoe box things. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so, all right, so uh, here we go. We have some storage underneath, some pistons on these drawers, so that holds them up, or, or on the doors, I should say. Okay, when we go down, you get some nice cot lights left and right of the bed. Um, nice uh, uh, power and USB charging ports. But I was what I was going to say is a nice headboard. Kind of a leathery looking headboard. Kind of like that. And it's kinda, recessed too, which is interesting. It, it is, right? Which is yeah. kind of nice. Okay. Um, there is also, over to my right, spot for hanging clothes. All right. And there's a couple of drawers down here. There's also drawers on the little nightstands. Now, we apologize it's so dark in here. Um, obviously it's dark colored wood, which makes it a little bit harder. Okay. But there's a little shelf up here too, for some things, right? Some more drawers here. And these, again, these are all wood drawers, guys. Very solid. Okay. And then up front, you got a TV right there, already mounted, ready to go. Nice. And some storage underneath there as well. Yeah. Right. Isn't that cool? That is very By the way, nice. speaking of storage, I don't know if you noticed it, but these bars come right out. Very nice. So if you're putting stuff there that is kind of large, you can just put the uh, pull that pole out, which is kind of nice. Very nice. Yeah. So again, let us know what you think of this. Um, this is our first time in, in this uh, type of toy hauler, right? The Genesis Supreme. Uh, leave a comment below, all right? We are in Tucson, Arizona at Cactus RV, and we want to thank you all for joining us. If this is the first time that you're watching our videos, thank you so much. You know what to do, right? Up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. We appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it helps out the channel a lot. It really does. Thank you so much. And for the Tall Man Clan out there, God bless you guys. Thank you for being with us time and time again. And until we see you all again on the road, be safe.